don't just hit for me more than you was All that shit was make believe you a nuisance Can't believe how hard I feel you went deep in I gave my soul to you, I threw it in the deep end I'm a poet when I know all the reasons In your lies, yeah, I kept on believing uh, In my head, yeah, I've been fighting demons uh, 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 Clowning him when you was with me, did you tell him that? Uh, trying to get my confidence, don't got enough of that uh, Lately, ain't been right, shut up Family, 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 make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. I'm going right into it today. We have in our hands the Jordan 5 top three, my honest opinion. Now, I don't believe everyone's honest opinion. So if you want nothing but honest opinions, I'm telling y'all, hit that notification bell after you subscribe, of course. All right. Also, make sure you drop a comment in the section. Let me know about the video, your comments, what you thought about it. I don't give a F if you hated it. Let me know you hated it and why, please. All right. So now that we into it without further ado, bang, boom, bow. Let's get to the box first. You got your Jordan box. You got your um, your cement print on it. Um, you got your black paper. This is a 10.5. The colorway reads black, new emerald, fire, red. So first I'm going to talk about the aesthetics. I'm gonna talk about the quality, the materials of this shoe. Then I'm gonna tell you what I think about it, okay? All right, so first off, I'm gonna start with this right there. You see that? That's the most notable feature right there. That's the most adored feature right there is that Nike on the booty, all right? Also, you got that stitched 23, stitched 23. That's also fire right there, okay? Now, I love the red on the bottom. I like Jordan 5s, of course, but to me, you got this great tongue. All right, so you got the great tongue, you got the fire red on the bottom and on the side with the Nike on the booty. This is a top three. All right, what I'm about to say is going to be slightly distasteful, okay? You got your translucent soles, you even got your um, metallic looking cement silver print right here on the fire strip, right? So everything on this shoe I think is nice, feels good, this tongue feels nice. But why? Why a top three five? You know what I mean? You did a what the four. You could have did a what the five. Top three, what the only does is just mixes these shoes together. This is not cool to me. This is not cool. I'm not seeing why people are going crazy over this. You know what? Like what you like. You know, I'm glad y'all like this. But this, come on now. And then when people going to be struggling when the off-white fours come out, and then people going to be struggling when all this other heat come out, the Union 4s, the um, Fragment 3s, all those shoes going to come out and they're going to be at an $800 to $1,000 price tag. But yet, you got a closet full of $200 to $300 BS shoes. My opinion. My opinion. If you like it, you love it, wear it. You know what I mean? You got your lace lock right here. It's clear. It's see-through. It doesn't fit the shoe. What's the other one of these? I know, I know, I know I don't say anything good, but the material on these are nice. People say they're not half bad. People are also trying to sell them. So when you're doing these, make sure you're only taking the review from people who are not trying to sell it to you. They're going to give you your honest, their most honest opinion in most cases. Not everybody, some people like them. You know what I mean? For me, this right there does it for me, but that's it. That's it. You could have kept the great tongue. You know what I mean? I didn't need that. That's not enough top three for me. Okay? You should have did more with the shoe. You could have got more creative. This looks lazy. Oh, since it's so lazy, let's put Nike on the booty because it'll definitely sell. And that's how I feel about this shoe. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm not saying it's trash. I'm saying it's not for me. Now, I do like the uh, individual aspects of it. Like I said, I like this, right? I even like the tongue, because who doesn't like grapes, right? I love the Nike on the booty in the 23. I love the sole of this shoe. I even like the turquoise Jordan in there. But as a whole completed, this does not do it for me. I'm sorry. This is like, and forgive my, my language, but this is like two minutes of sex. You know what I mean? Two minutes of sex. You don't want two minutes of sex. You want 15, you want 30. Two minutes of sex is just not satisfying for the guy or the girl. So that's what this shoe is to me. Two minutes of sex. All right. 
Um, other than that, y'all, let me know in the comment section if I'm overreacting, if I'm tweaking, if you think I'm, if these shoes are just fire, and you don't F with my taste, but I like the shoe, I like the quality of it, just as a top three, it's a weak top three for me, they shouldn't have called it a top three, they should have just called it a Jordan 5 red and grape, I'd have been happy with that, okay, because I see the grape tongue, and I see the fire red in there. I would have been happy with that. But when you say top three, when you give us certain expectations, you know, I, I want, I'm not wild. This was two minutes of sex. So sorry. Um, I don't even want to smoke a cigarette after this. I don't even want to look at the shoe after this. That's how I feel about that shoe. After two minutes of sex, you don't even want to look at the person. And that's how I feel about this shoe right now. It's nice quality. If you guys go get it, you're not going to be disappointed. But if you're looking for something equivalent to the top three Jordan 1, this is two minutes of sex. It's your boy, hey fam, Measley G, saying bye to these shoes. All right, y'all, let me know in the concept, in the concept, let me know in the comment section what y'all think about my opinions, my views on the two minutes of sex that that shoe gave me, okay? Other than that, a little undercover in the background for y'all to look at. It's your boy, hey fam, Measley G. Thank y'all for stopping by. Cliff, you got something to tell them? Quiet today? Quiet today. Again, until I come out with an Adidas review, he might be mum for words. But other than that, it's your boy, Hey Fam Measley G, Cliff, and goodbye in seven languages.